In this video, you are going to see me use Tannerite to partially remove an old beaver dam. If you've never used Tannerite before and after watching this, you decide you want to try it out, please exercise caution. Read the directions and follow the directions. Be as safe as possible because this stuff can be dangerous if it's not used properly and the proper safety precautions haven't been taken. Thank you very much and enjoy. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. Yes, that is what you think it is. Um, I have a little bit of work trying to get done today over at the property. Luckily, this work is going to be really fun. Um, I have an undisclosed amount of Tannerite and my favorite AR-15 uh, that I built uh, last year and uh, headed over into the woods here to blow up a beaver dam. Because number one, I haven't really done a whole lot of shooting lately. Weather has been pretty crappy here, um, as well as haven't really got to blow anything up for a while now. So I've had this tannerite sitting at my house. Obviously it's unmixed. It is a, I believe it's a class three felony to mix it and then transport it. Uh, so if you've never used Tannerite, but you're interested in it, it is very, very fun, but please, please be very careful because number one, you could severely hurt yourself, but if you do something like mix up your Tannerite and then decide, oh, we're going to drive down the road or whatever, that's, that's a felony. Um, unless you're licensed to transport, um, uh, explosives which most people aren't, it, it is a felony to trans transport it. So uh, I got a couple trips to make from my truck to the beaver dam. I will try to hold the camera very steady, uh, you know, as steady as possible, and show you a quick time lapse of the walk that I have to go through to get back to this beaver dam. Um, so I'll, I'll try to just give you guys a brief look at that. Uh, but this is why I have to use Tannerite. Um, tried getting the machine back there, but it's so thick back in this section here that I got lost and actually couldn't find it. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, so now I just get to have some fun and, and blow it up. So let's get back there, we'll get set up and uh, I'll give you guys the rundown of what we're doing. Okay, so as you just saw, this is the walk I have to make to get back here. Um, you know, right there is all that brush. That's why it was really hard to get a machine back there. I'm pretty sure whenever I came in, I really overshot it. And I think I ended up like way up there. Um, so what we're going to do is, I like I said, I got a couple more trips to make back here. Uh, I want to get my drone back here so I can get some aerial shots of this thing getting blown to smithereens and then probably bring my axe back just to make sure I can get a nice big hole punched in um, but you can see there's a ton of water passing through this passing around it so that right there is a dead giveaway that there are no beavers that are inhabiting this area if there were beavers here they would have that all patched up this whole area would be filled up and that's what had happened before. Like when we get a big heavy rain, this does fill up and then it kind of leaches out and around. Um, it actually does flow over there and um, you know, it, it creates some problems. Um, just a lot of flooding, like I've said previously. 
So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find a nice clear spot that I can shoot from. Uh, we wanna maintain a safe distance just from any shrapnel or debris that's gonna probably be flying back at us. Um, but we also wanna make sure we can get the Tannerite into um, this dam a little bit so that whenever it detonates, the explosion happens within, hopefully it pushes the debris out. Um, that's the plan. Enjoy. Okay, now that we have a nice clear opening, um, you know, it is kind of overhung a little bit. So I think I'm just going to go straight to like six pounds or something. Put it right there and see what kind of damage we can, we can put on this thing. Okay, so here's my rifle. I doubt you can see it, but right past this leaning tree, I have a little opening and I can see the orange from the Tannerite container. Now I decided to kind of backtrack and start off with two pounds. Uh, I want to see if I can blow myself a little, little nice cavity there that I can get the six pounds that I'm going to mix up here back in there further. And uh, hopefully whenever we get that to detonate, it's going to, it's going to help to, uh, I guess, blow it up from the inside out. So that's the goal. I'm going to get the drone up in the air and blow this, uh, blow this first two pounds up. Fire in the hole. Okay, so that two pounds did exactly what I was hoping it was gonna do. It just kind of blew a whole lot of this looser stuff away. So now I'm able to get my six pounds in there. Uh, you know, the pretty much the base of the dam is this big fallen tree. Um, so I don't expect much from there, but what I'm hoping from this next six pound is that it blows a lot of this top up and away. Six pounds, fire in the hole. <laughs> oh, Tannerite's so much fun. So that did exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. I mean, it blew all of this top debris clear off. That was awesome. Tannerite is so much fun. Now, like I said earlier, uh, if you are going to be messing around with Tannerite at all, please be extremely careful. I mean, that was six pounds. You saw what you just saw what this stuff is capable of. Please be careful. The last thing I want is anybody watching this video or any of my Tannerite videos and saying, oh wow, Steve makes that look so easy, you know, let's go do it. Read the instructions, make sure you're at a safe distance. If you're doing something like this, like I, full disclosure, I was probably a little closer than I should have been, but I was back behind all this brush. That bigger tree right here is what I was next to but I was shooting through an opening right through here-ish. Uh, so I had a lot of cover to protect me. And as I'm looking, you know, I see a nice big piece of tree right there. You know, there's a bunch of sh uh, shrapnel and everything from branches and stuff flung over here. Um, you know, my actually my camera lens up here doesn't actually really have any mud on it, but on my tripod there was a good bit of mud 
and uh, I mean obviously you guys saw the aerial footage it you know it, it's it's a it's a lot of fun just please 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 be careful so yeah that was a big boom <laughs> now I would love to get another six pounder pressed up into there or maybe even something more like an eight pounder but uh you know as I'm kind of looking at this um, you know I could I could get it up in there but looking back here I lose my shooting lane that I was using here because I have this kind of hillside brushy area um, I don't really have a good shooting lane here so I think this is gonna do it for today and uh, next time I'll just have to bring like my hedge trimmers or you know get a machine back here and get this brush cleared because uh, it would be really nice to get an excavator right next to this for cleanup um, you know obviously the tannerite opens it up but all that stuff still needs cleaned up so whether or not I have to do that by hand or I'm able to get a machine back here um, you know that's gonna that's gonna be something we get across at a later date uh, but if I'm able to get a machine back here I can clear myself a nice shooting lane we can blow this side up have some more fun while getting work done gotta love that so yeah everybody uh like i said that's gonna do it i hope you liked this shorter video um you know i cannot stress this enough if you guys have never used tannerite before and you want to you can get it at any of your local gun stores firearm stores outdoor uh, stores most places like that carry it but just please be careful please be careful and read the directions um so yeah uh, thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to like us on Instagram. Don't forget to check out our store on Etsy and then come back over here and uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the t-shirts and other merchandise. Uh, no pressure to buy anything, but if you do see something you like, there's a promo code in the description right below the link. Feel free to use that up. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back out here shooting some guns, blowing stuff up the old American way. So thanks, guys. I appreciate everybody's support, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.